What's up, fuckers? It's Lieutenant Chubb back with Tone Pepperone. Yo. And we got guest booker Derv Nasty with us today. Yo, what's up, you giant shit stains? Hey, there we go. Getting right into it. I like it. Uh, we got GDTV brought to you by Golden Dragon Entertainment. The Street. best fucking show in Alaska. Best. Straight out of Alaska. Best show. Yeah. We got a great show. We upped it to an hour. So let's get right into it. Okay, so segment one, pre-show, we have Super Dragon versus AJ Styles. In an extremely poor match, Super Dragon defeats AJ Styles in 4 minutes and 42 seconds by pinfall. Uh, quick, Damn. Quick match, it was good. I mean, I would love to see that match real life. That'd be great. Super Dragon's pretty hype. Uh, apparently, pretty Super hype. Dragon was just way too hype for AJ Styles. He was just out of control. Styles just kept going for a Styles clash. Just kept whiffing. <laughs> All right, starting off the night, we got uh, the debut of the impressive, the dominant, the mighty Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. 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 So he comes out to the ring, showing off his infinite power and his glory. He screams powerfully into a mic. Whom's first? <laughs> Uh, Sid Vicious, he comes out to the ring and big boots Gilbert right in the jaw. And Sid Ooh. grabs the mic. He goes, it's who, idiot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he walks away. Well, Gilbert, he's not going to take that. Gilbert's a god. So he spears Sid from behind, causing Sid to violently erupt in his pants a brown fountain. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, it wasn't good. Well, who else but uh, but the CCP come out high as shit and wearing janitor outfits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fuck. <laughs> Chad Ryan, he's got a mic and a mop and starts yelling, Yo, you know we clean this ring on the sign for extra cash, right? Like, you think you're cool? Like, you think we're going to be cool with you shitting in the ring? Like, we have to clean this up, dude. The fuck? And Pogo just rips the mic and says, you, you fucked up, man. CCP rushed the ring and start beating Sid down with brooms and mops. Jesus Christ. I like how Monty Brown just had no comment. No, <laughs> Monty Brown had no comment. So, Gilbert got a 75 rating for his initial debut. Not bad. Um, Chad Ryan is actually moving up from a clubber to a DJ. Ooh. And uh, that got a 91 rating. He's moving nice. on up. I like that. Moving on up. Next, we got a match that includes Joke the Coke Roberts, Officer Astonishy, and Matt Jackson, who Fuck looks you. like a fucking idiot. Yo, Young Bucks for life. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Dude looks like a fucking crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. In a match that had an average crowd reaction, but featured terrible wrestling, probably because Matt Jackson was in there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Astonacy defeats Joke the Coke Roberts and Matt Jackson in 6 minutes and 10 seconds when Officer Astonacy defeated Matt Jackson by pinfall. Oh, look, Matt Jackson was really off his game tonight. Oh, I wonder Robert. fucking why. Maybe Fuck because he got Fuck. fucking ripped down by you guys backstage. <laughs> oh, just Tony, fucking wrecked him. Tony, the... we're gonna be the heel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh man! I'm sorry that I'm the one, that I appreciate good wrestling. If that makes me a heel, <laughs> then I guess I'm the heel. <laughs> All right, there, fuck. Uh, <laughs> All right. So next up, we got an angle with Vince Russo and Steve Borden. Uh, as you guys know, he no longer has the rights to well any of uh, of his former gimmick. Which we can't name, or will be fi or will be sued. Yeah. Um, the, so we, the gimmick that will not be named. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't even make crow noises anymore. That's fucked up. Um, so Steve Borden, he comes into the abstentions locker room, and they have their own locker room. They're pretentious assholes. Uh, and Vince Russo's hanging out there, of course. Well, Steve uh, talks to Russo about how he was watching the monitors earlier. You know, watching what goes down, and he's like, so. What you're saying is that you pay the clown car posse on the side to clean the ring? The hell, man. 
you know, you're fueling their drug habits, right? Like, we're trying to eliminate drugs here, and you're paying drug addicts to clean the ring? Oh, Russo, he's not taking any of that shit. He's not, like, he doesn't have to justify his actions. He's the fucking man. It's like, listen, Borden, I got a guy who handles this shit. I'm the fucking boss, so you do your job, and I'll do mine. I right, bro? Listen. Oh, bro, Calm damn. it down. Fucking damn. Bro. Up next, we have a match between Kevin Steen and Chad Ryan. Match had good crowd reaction, decent in-ring action. Chad Ryan beats Kevin Steen in 5 minutes and 47 seconds by pinfall with a uh, spin-out powerbomb. Ooh. Pretty good. I spin like, I to like win. That. Yeah, spin to win. Spinning you out just like he spins that fucking record, bro. Ooh, Ooh there we go. Damn. Call that the record scratch. Hell yeah. All right, so we got an angle featuring the Jizz. The Jizz issues an opening <laughs> challenge for the Goldstein Championship. Anyone who wants this title, try and take it from me. No one comes out to the ring after five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He just stood there, and he just, like, didn't move. Yeah. He just had... He just okay. had the microphone to his face, and he had, like, this for-sure look looking out to the entrance, and he's just waiting Wait, there. You know what? I don't know what you guys are trying to imply, but I take it is that the Jizz is so menacing, no one yeah. wants to fight him. Yeah, he just yeah. looks too intimidating. No, I don't think that's the case. He was, like, he was waiting for someone to come out, but he no one did, and he started to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So he, he stopped blinking, and he just stared at the entrance ramp, and kept sweating it was gross please Ugh. come out please please <laughs> please man God, i only have five minutes in the segment Somebody <laughs> come out and help me jesus <laughs> <clears throat> so uh in an extremely short match we have the inevitable match between sid vicious and gilberg fresh uh, underwear for this match mm -hmm. yeah fresh pair yeah he had to put on clean gitch yeah he threw him inside out Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that doesn't make them clean. I mean, they're clean on the inside. That's what counts. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh. I mean, for him, they are. <sighs> it was like a brown waterfall. That's the food, Evan. <laughs> Let's just get through the smash. <laughs> uh, in any case, Sid Vicious beats Gilbert in five minutes and ten seconds after hitting him with a foreign object. Uh, probably his spaghetti hair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sid Vicious, of course, makes defense number one of the Swayze Trap House Championship. The, this match was rushed a little bit due to the rancid smell coming from Sid Vicious. <laughs> he just smelt. People so were bad. starting to leave. They were like, go home now. Go home. Sid fucking told me that he changed his gitch. <laughs> Ooh, the color, you color can't commentary. Trust Sid. You can't gave trust the a guy a with boost. fucking ramen noodle head. <laughs> Jesus. Up. All right, so we cut backstage where we have badass Billy Gunn snorting Vicodin off the brim of his cowboy hat. Road Dog comes in and sees this, saying, What the fuck, badass? Billy Gunn turns around, powder on his face, and he says, Hey, man, I found all that gear you left me, and it started to jog my memory. I remember you now. So Road Dog gets excited. He's all impressed. He's like, Yeah, man, I'm your partner, Road Dog. Badass Billy Gunn? Shakes his head and says, Nah, you're Bullet Bob's kid. You're Brian Armstrong. So Road Dog gets a little upset and he fires back. He's like, No, dude, I'm Road Dog, your tag team partner. Badass Billy Gunn fires back saying, No way, man. You're Brian Armstrong, man. I would know. The drugs do not lie to me, Brian. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> drugs don't lie. The drugs don't lie. They've never lied to him. He may not be uh, Mr. America anymore, but the drugs have never lied. Not once. All right. So, in a beat that had a great heat and some decent ringside action, we got Steve Borden in Taco Mutsunoku. Uh, Steve Borden defeated... Taku Mutsunoku in 7 minutes and 48 seconds by submission with a scorpion deathlock. I'm really surprised the WWE let him keep that. that that's surprising. Yeah. Very surprising. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's good. That's good for them. 
Uh, we had the debuting Taco Mutsunoku, uh, <laughs> debuting Happy Go Lucky, got a 91 rating. He got surprised at the beginning of the match, though, because he was waiting for his, uh, you know, opponent, but he didn't know the guy in the hat and sunglasses was his opponent in the ring. So he was a little <laughs> bit startled. <laughs> he was like, what is this guy, part of the ring crew? All right. Jeans, a t-shirt, sunglasses. He didn't take the hat and sunglasses off to wrestle either. No, not at all. Taco was sitting there like, what is this guy here with, like, his kid for, like, some special Is he lost? Is, am I going to give him an autograph or something? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Taco looked at him like autograph after match <laughs> oh. all right so all in all uh you know the the show got us a c minus um uh increased popularity in a single region uh the region of alaska yeah of course considering we're getting c's and not paying terry bolet a six thousand in appearance i'd call that a win yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Fuck you, Terry. Fuck you and your fucking, fucking Terry. Thousand dollar appearance fee. Thirty thousand dollars a month. Fuck off, Terry. Jesus Christ. That's... My ex wife does not fucking cost that much. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh don't forget guys, like, comment, subscribe to Tone Pepperone. Uh check mm -hmm. us out on Facebook, Facebook.com slash tone pepperone. Check us out on Twitter, twitter.com slash tone pepperone. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know if you want to see more Derv Nasty in the GDE. Had a good time, brought him on. It was a good time. Good time. Um, and as always, guys, you know, go fuck yourselves.